If you're looking for the ultimate Legends of Crassus event, then this video is for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is click M and check out your map to try to find this Legends of Crassus icon. Chances are, if you go in recruitment chat and click X event, you'll get an invite to a raid group and you'll just be able to follow the rest of your team members to the event location. Chances are pretty high too that you're going to see a large amount of other individuals because they're all doing the event too, and this is an open world event. You're going to be seeing three different bosses in this area, and all you really have to do is just hack and slash its HP bar down to zero. The larger the group, the faster this is going to be. I'm not going to show you this entire process. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a bit, but it's pretty straightforward. You just have to deal 1000 damage to one of these guys, and then you'll get the credit once they're all defeated. And as you see, once we completely defeat these guys, you will get two different rewards. The first is the Legion Ornament, and the second is a Legacy of Crassus crate. Now I actually have two of each, so I'm just gonna open them to give you a sneak peek of some of the rewards. The Legion Ornament is essentially gonna give you a random piece of equipment. Chances are high, it's not gonna be great, but hey, maybe you'll get lucky. The real good stuff is the Legacy of Crassus crate, where you're going to get a named item, 15 dark matter, a gypsum orb, and then a random crafting mod, which honestly could be pretty good. So you can actually get a Legion ornament every single time you take down this guy. However, the Legacy of Crassus crate, you can only get three times per day. And I highly recommend you do it three times a day because it's worth the easy dark matter and those crafting items. Plus you can actually get some pretty decent named items, so it's worth doing either way. Just to highlight some of the great items that actually come out of these Legacy of Crassus crates, I'm going to go ahead and showcase all the possible drops that you can get from these crates thanks to New World Database. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see everything that you could potentially get from these crates that essentially drop three times a day like I mentioned. And I just really want to point out the fact that some of these named items are very, very good. Specifically, this great axe is arguably a best in slot great axe depending on your build because you can lock in Thwarting Strikes and Enfeebling Maelstrom. Chances are a lot of players will want to upgrade and lock in that third perk to be a refreshing move or maybe a specific attunement, but long story short, if you're running a strength build utilizing the Great Axe, chances are pretty high that this axe is pretty close to what you're looking for. I'll go ahead and just hover over some of these other items, but long story short, the Great Axe is probably one of the better items, as well as this heavy chest piece. Um, these are nice to have in case you want the transmog, you can throw it in your storage. And then other than that, you also have a chance of picking up some of these uh, different crafting mods. And some of them are actually worth quite a bit of gold. For example, this Freedom one is worth some gold. There's the different elemental damage boost, which you can pick up some easy money for as well as even refreshing move and squirming vines for shirking fortification. Plus you can't argue that dark matter and gypsum every single day is just a nice th thing to have. And that really covers it. Again, I don't want to waste your time, but this event is very straightforward. I have been asked multiple times now on whether or not I think this event is actually worth doing. And long story short, yes, I do think it is. However, I think it's only worth doing three times per day. Doing it three times per day ensures that you get maximum dark matter, gypsum orbs, crafting mods, as well as your ongoing chance of picking up some of those nice named items, including that potentially best in slot great axe. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe because I've got a lot more new world content coming soon. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys later.